Good afternoon. The first item of business this afternoon is time for reflection, and our time for reflection leader today is Mr. Magnus McFarlane Barrow, the Chief Executive and Founder of Mary's Meals. Good afternoon. About 20 years ago, I was on a, a dark street in, in Colombia with a group looking for children living on the streets to offer them a, a hot breakfast. And we, we found this little boy, about six years old, sleeping under some cardboard, and we gave him his breakfast, and we began speaking to him, and one of us asked him, Who, who's your best friend? And he looked up at us and thought for a little while, and he said, God is. And we were taken aback. We knew that boy wasn't going to, to school. No one had taught him to, to say that. And we asked him, why, why do you say that? And he said, because God gives me everything I need. That, that little boy didn't know where his next meal was coming from. He'd seen friends of his murdered on the streets. And yet he said that with absolute conviction. He, he evangelized me that day. And in, in the years since, as I journey through life, proclaiming myself to be a Christian, I ask myself sometimes, do I, really, do I really believe that God gives me everything I need in the way that that little boy on the street did? A few years later, it was another conversation with a child that led to the birth of Mary's Meals, this work that provides daily meals for the world's poorest children in places of education, over 1.2 million children every day now around the world. And that conversation with a child took place in, in Malawi, 2002, where I met a, a family. The mother of the family was, was dying and she had six children around her. And I began talking to her oldest son. He was called Edward. He was 14 years of age. And at one point in the conversation, I said to, to Edward, Edward, what, what are your hopes? What are your ambitions? And he looked at me and he said, I, I would like to have enough food to eat and I would like to be able to go to school one day. And that was it. That was the extent of his ambition at 14 years of age. And it was really those words that he spoke that day that triggered this movement of Mary's Meals, this movement that keeps growing uh, ar around the world with that vision that every child in, in this world might at least eat one good meal every day in their place of education. And I suppose the story of Mary's Meals can teach us a, a few things. You know, it can teach us perhaps the importance of, of listening to children uh, when they speak. It can teach us that, that any of us can do something to help make this world better, no matter uh, our qualifications or lack of, uh, in my case. And I think the story of Mary's Meals maybe also tells us that that little boy in Colombia was right when he said God gives us everything we need in this world of plenty, in this world in which we produce more than enough food for all of us to eat well. That vision of ours that every child in this world might eat at least one good meal every day is a vision that burns more brightly than ever, and one that I entrust again to God and to our Lord Jesus. Thank you.